Hi, welcome to Fly Tying Step by Step. Today I'll be showing you how to tie my Golden Deceiver Emerger, a very effective fly, one I enjoy fishing on every trip I go. So to start off, I'm going to use a size 16 nymph hook and very easy to tie. We start with a thread base in 10. We tie a ribbing of golden yarn. It's an embroidery kind of yarn, but you can use any golden material that you prefer. Tinsel also works great, so don't be too worried about the ribbing material as long as it's cold. With that tidying, I'm just going to do a half edge just to secure my thread. So now I'm going to tie my body material. Very simple, I'm just going to wrap it one next to the other and we might come back for a second or third layer just to create a little bit of a taper, not much. It is actually a very slim profile, but I always like to have a little bit of a tapered body. You can cover it also with um, Sally Hansen's Hottest Nails or UV Resin to make it a little bit more durable. With that done. Just going to secure it. It's so little material that's used in this very effective pattern. So with the tapered body done, I'm going to add a little bit of dabbing, also in a tan color. Not too much. As I always say, add a little by little so that you don't overdress the fly. With that in place, I'm going to tie my soft tackle. I'm just stripping off the one side of the feather and I stroke back those fibers. I'm just going to use my hackle plier just to grab it like that and just stroke back those fibers like that. I'm tying it in by the tip. These feathers can be quite fragile, so make sure that you don't pull too hard on them when you tie them in. You will see I double back on, on the feather just to make it a little bit stronger. Cut away the Tag in the and wrap my feather, stroking the fibers back as I go along. To one turn. And, uh, Another half or two. I 
prefer not to cut but rather to just push against the feather with my scissors then I'm sure I'm not cutting any of my fibers that I do want away as well and to finish this fly I'm just going to take a peacock hole and make one or so wraps with that. So what you'll see I'm going to do here is I tied in my peacock hole um, just randomly and then seeing that this is size 16 now I can pull on it so I get to the thinner part of the hole where I want it tie that in break away the base and then as I said just one or two turns not many make sure that you keep your soft tackle fibers out of the way and these smaller sizes tend to be a little bit more difficult There we go. It. Do your whip finish. You can add a bit of head cement if you want to secure your thread more, but two whip finishes should do the trick. I leave my pico coil there so that if it slides off, I can just tie it back in. But there you have it. Just going to brush out some of the dabbing and also just separate the soft tackle fibers from each other. And there you have it a very effective soft tackle emerger pattern in gold. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click like on the video, and also join our Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash fly time one two three enjoy your fly time and your fly fishing bye